This video is part of my financial series where I take you step by step in building Power BI financial reports and dashboards. Enjoy. In this series, we're going to try to build a financial dashboard which looks like this. And after that, we may explore additional topics around building dashboards. Now, even if you're not focused on your subject area is not finance, if you're focused on building executive dashboards or marketing dashboards or something else, the, the, this would still be chock full of techniques that you can use for building your own dashboards. But the data set I'm using here is finance and the dashboard is focused around that. And I always say that Power BI is Agile BI. I always talk about how you should never, never, ever embark on a six months or God forbid a longer project. At Power BI, you should be moving in sprints, maybe days at max weeks long. So we're going to adopt the same agile approach in building this dashboard. We're going to build this step by step. But before we get on with that, I want to just give you a lay of the land. So let's start with the diagram view. That's pretty much the first place I start when I'm looking at a new data set. So you can see we have the data table here, which is the finance table. And then we have the lookup tables, which is the who, what, where, when, how. So who is the department? Or what is the account? Uh, when is here and scenario is kind of the, the how. Uh, so that's what we have set up here. You can ignore these two tables for now. So if we go look at our uh, in the data view, let's start with the, with the finance table and you can see pretty much the only column of interest here is the amount column. I'll call that out. So that has our dollars coming in. And uh, of course, it has the keys which connect to department and organization account a key. And I want to call out scenario key. So what we have is three kind of numbers mixed together. So if you go look at scenario, you can see that the numbers we're tracking can either be actual budget or forecast. Now let's look over at the uh, department group. That's pretty standard. Let's look at the account table. So here you can see we have the account hierarchy, which is right here, kind of account level one, two, three, four, five. So that is the lay of the land. Now let's get started by building our dashboard. One last thing, this report uses a parameter to pretend the current date is different than the actual date and and you will see why but I'll show you the parameter if you go to edit queries edit parameters then you can see I'm pretending that today it, it, we're in this month of September all you have to do is to remove that is to just delete that and hit OK but I'm gonna leave it uh, like that the magic is in the measures so that's a great place to start and we're gonna start by defining a very simple measure sum amount and as you can see it is simply just the sum of the finance amount table. But if you remember, that amount actually has three different scenarios. So just to show that, I have put together a matrix here, which has month year on the rows, and it has the scenario name, actual budget or forecast in the columns. And you can see here that we have the actuals for all the months up till August. Again, right now we're in the month of September. So we have completed actuals till August. And we have budget for the full calendar year of 2017. We also have the budget for next year in the system. And for the remaining year, the cu remaining current year, we have forecast. And the, uh, the difference between these two is that budget is something that we set at the beginning of the year saying, hey, here's what we're going to do. Here's what our target is. And forecast is the latest best estimate. So at the end of August, we know that where we fell short and where we overachieved. Uh, so based on that, we're saying, well, yeah, the, this is what we understand now at the end of August. So that's the data in the table. And for a first round, let's go back. We're going to define some simple measures. And it, it, this is the set that I have. So we started off with some some finance amount that's straightforward but remember that this 
encompasses actual budget and forecast. And this is great for kind of a debug view and lay of the land. But typically in production scenarios, I would actually go and hide that uh, column. So I would just, uh, you know, uh, click here and say hide because I don't want this to be re uh, used in any reports because it's going to be a meaningless number. Somebody could get in trouble if they used it. Uh, but for now, I've kept it alive just so I can kind of show you the debug scenarios. But again, in a production report, I would hide this column. But then we have actual, which is using a simple calculate measure. So calculate some amount, this formula, where the scenario is actual. Simple as that. Budget is pretty similar to that. And once we have that, we can use our Lego blocks to build more measures. And we have variance, budget minus actual, and percentage variance. And you would see this approach throughout, and I've talked about this before, where I build my measures in Lego blocks. I use I build simple measures and then build upon them to build more complicated measures and combine them to create additional measures. So these measures are pretty straightforward, but that that you know it's still pretty amazing what we can build using these measures. So this is a, a, a dashboard built on the measures that I just showed you. And again, you've seen my pattern where uh, I, I start with the high level numbers up top and then I show some breakdowns which are right here. So this is by department group. This is uh, the who and this is the account level which is the what. And then I have uh, a little more detail over here. Actually, let me just fix this real quick. Okay, that's better. So uh, the KPIs were not showing. So we have uh, similar information for department, but now we have a big table, actual budget variance, percentage variance, and this KPI indicator. And then we have a detail on the account. And of course, this comes out of the box with all the built-in interactivity with Power BI. So here you can say, hey, tell me exactly what's going on in research and development, you know, what's going on with the operating expense over there, uh, and commissions and so you can really zero in on things and of course we are looking at the month that we just completed right now August but we can go back and look at prior months as well if you wanted to we could kind of combine months and see them together as well so this I believe in the old world putting some something together like this would have been really truly impressive especially with the built-in interactivity which can answer the answer your questions but in the new world this is stable stakes right this is the entry level and that is expected so we want to just iterate and keep see if we can take it to the next level hey keep watching more videos and keep learning power bi but if you did enjoy this video i would love to hear from you so leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on, my friends.